Song Manho, Deputy Director, Minister of Science and ICT, uh, Government of South Korea, uh, Shri Ashok Kumar Parvar, sir, Joint Secretary and CBO, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of India. Uh, representatives uh, from Indian industry, my esteemed delegates from South Korea, uh, I hope uh, you are enjoying your journey to India. And may I also thank organizers for giving the opportunity uh, to speak at this important platform and share my views. Two distinguished speakers before me have shared their views and uh, they have shared many important points and the potential uh, for India and Korea co collaborations, cooperations in the field of digital uh, content. I was uh, the Senior Assistant Director at uh, FIKI, uh, handling the International Policy and Strategy Division, where we worked tremendously in improving India's relations with uh, many other countries. And this was one of the best experiences in my life in terms of you know, bringing or uh, creating content to improve relations, uh, bilateral and regional relations with a lot of other countries. FIKI, Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry is one of the, uh, is the largest and oldest industry associations of India and uh, it has been playing tremendous role in promoting Indian industry uh, in India and across the world. So I have been very fortunate to be part of this uh, important organization and I have recently uh, left that and I have started my own venture it's called the Policy Times. Um, FIKI produces a lot of entrepreneurs and it supports a lot of Indian entrepreneurs. And when I decided this, the entire organization was so proud to say and share that, you know, we produce and support a lot of entrepreneurs. Now, when someone comes from within the secretariat, it is such a proud moment for us. And the entire mechanism has been extremely supportive to me. So I think the background of Policy Times would give you an idea about what is the potential of digital content in India. Uh, Policy Times is uh, an Indian digital media venture uh, like many others which are emerging out of India. First Post, Quint, Scroll, Dailyo, there are many such the where there are many such media platforms which have emerged, and there are a lot of uh, there is huge potential actually uh, in, in in the news and media category. Entertainment is even the bigger uh, sphere when we talk about. So we have calculatively and strategically chosen a digital media over print or electronic media channel. And because of the following reasons, if you see, digital is the future. The whole world is going digital and India is no exception. Today India has a billion uh, mo smartphones, mobile phones. And I mean the time is not far when every household will have a smart TV. And what is smart TV? It's just internet connection. And, and your YouTube and Google, nothing else. Second is the scope and opportunity of print and electronic media is narrowing. If you see, there are many media channels where the revenue is shrinking and so is their viewership. Most of the leading players are struggling to survive. Moreover, they are too expensive for low capital startups. The there is no physical boundary in the digital world. So being an Indian startup, we have the potential and scope to be a global brand. So we produce, we can produce news in India and we can be a good uh, or a prominent media voice in any of the neighboring countries, maybe like Bangladesh, maybe Sri Lanka, or even we can have reader base in US. So being an Indian startup, we have a very good reader base in US. So that is the actual scope and potential of uh, digital uh, world. Polystyrene aims to be India's most credible and authentic voice on public policy and foreign affairs issues. 
Interestingly, the rise and affordability of internet and smartphones, rapid increase of Indian middle class, and significant improvement in the living standards of average Indians, technological influences, and Government of India's active policy intervention has transformed India into a digital nation. According to Ernst & Young report, India's digital segment is set to cross 200 billion Indian rupees by 2020 at a CHER growth rate of 14.3%. India's growth rate is more than thrice as compared to the global media and entertainment industry. If you see, the global uh, growth rate is just 4.4 vis-a-vis India's CAG, uh, CGR growth rate of 14.3. EMY estimates based on BCG and IMR analysis states that internet-related contribution to GDP is about 4.1%. And it is going to go up. The internet-related business that is going to happen in India is going to go up. And when we talk about the internet, it doesn't have a boundary. So all countries and, and companies of across the world would be equally contributor and participant in this process. So mobile devices driving the digital communication. WhatsApp is one of the most uh, effective medium of communication today. Let me present some facts about uh, the this Indian uh, digital market here. According to Internet and Mobile Association of India, so if you can have the uh, next slide. Uh, in 2013, in 2003, we'll do a small comparison between 2003, uh, 2013 and 2018. 60 persons were under 25 years of age. Today, 50, uh, 64 percent, or I think more than that, are, 20, are below the 25 years of age. In the rural India, the penetration rate was just 29 percent. Today, it is 40 to 50 percent in the rural India. And if you see the gender uh, balance also, there were 2.6 men online for every one woman. Now that has gone down to 1.9 men for every woman, and that uh, they are among 18 to 24 years uh, of age. If you see mobile phone, there were 60 to 70 percent of uh, users. Today, that has actually gone to uh, 80 percent, and more than 80 percent today actually it is. If you see now, this is an important fact that uh, we were talking about. The mobile phone users, the importance and relevance of vernacular languages is tremendous. So English, English remains one of the prominent languages of India, but the relevance and importance of disseminating your business information through vernacular languages is extremely important. And uh, this is how. So per capita income has also uh, tremendously gone up. It's from uh, 541 billion to today uh, 570. So there are many different digital contents. Uh, it's like digital advertising. There are many industries that uh, I am going to focus. The first opportunity that we find is digital advertisements. The second is mobile payment wallets. They are going to emerge. Paytm, phone pay, and there are many such uh, platforms which are emerging. Digital video is the most prominent uh, uh, digital content that are going to uh, rule in the market. And then SVOD and OTT, they are the subscription uh, video on demand and over the top. So OTT are content providers that distribute streaming media as a standalone product, I think you know the definition, directly to consumers, bypassing telecommunications, multimedia channels and broadcast channels. India has many OTT platforms, uh, Apple TV, iPod, Apple Music, Hangama Play, Wing, Airtel TV, and there are many SVOD platforms such as Eros, Hotstar, Yap, Next, GTV. I'm going to present small facts about different uh, segments and their economic uh, value. Digital ad spend, according to Magna Global Ad Forecast in uh, December 2016, 
currently digital media contributes approximately 14% of the total ad spend in England. And it is, it, it is saying that by 2020, approximately 20% of the ad spending will be on digital, crossing countries like Spain, Sweden, and Netherlands. Digital ad spending will increase from 81 billion INR in 2016 to around 185 billion INR by 2020. Digital video. Indian online digital uh, video advertising market will contribute close to 80 billion INR out of the total uh, digital marketing advertising uh, market of INR 185 billion. Yet almost uh, more than 60% of the advertisement uh, spending will be on digital advertisement, video advertisement by 2020 and will grow at a compounding annual growth rate of 38%, a hoping 38% growth of the digital uh, video advertisement. So that's going to grow tremendously. Live OTT uh, that I talked about, OTT is live you know, streaming, like how maybe there are a lot of live TV channels are coming, like online live TV, just like the electronic TV that we watch, uh, there are many such live TV channels coming. There might be media, entertainment, and different fields. And they will be led by news, events, and sports. There are many hot star uh, uh, streams, live cricket matches, and a lot of other uh, matches. South Korea is an important uh, development partner of India. South Korea specializes on a lot of areas and so is India. India has a bunch of amazing, intelligent and innovative startups which can collaborate with uh, South Korea, uh, Korea and we can work on a range of uh, areas. So the areas that we can collaborate that I can immediately find uh, is that uh, so Korea can collaborate with many of the Indian TV channels and stream their uh, cartoons and a lot of uh, serials. They are very popular. Many of the Korean movies are very popular in India. Korean street dance is uh, famous in the world and India has tremendous consumers for that. I mean, India can be a huge and huge market. I mean, most of the Indian uh, entertainment uh, family TV channels are dominated by dance shows and Korean street dance can be one of the prominent ones. India can produce high quality uh, but cheap uh, products and services in this category and that is where South Korean investment can be an important part of this. So we saw there are a lot of discussions between uh, Korean and Indian uh, government representatives and there are many schools they are, they are exploring. We hope to say that Indian industry support them and also benefit and leverage from the engagements between these two governments. With these words, uh, may I take the opportunity to conclude by saying that India is a land of opportunity. Entrepreneurship and industry is emerging as the powerful force behind India's economic success. That is where, and it has 1.3 billion population, which is, a, which is I think the second biggest market in the world and thus it, it provides tremendous opportunities for the Korean companies to come. So thank you so much for the opportunity. Look forward to uh, speak to you. Thank you.